Come back. Come back. <laughs> Mitch, why you, what's the biggest reason you guys have gotten better on, on defense, steadily better? Uh, I think it's just in practice we're always taking taking every possession seriously and realizing that defense is what's going to help us win more and more games, and we're really bought into it now. Is it easier to buy into it when you play so many close games and you know that? Yeah, I think it all comes down. We all understand that it comes down to stops. Um, you can't stop the other team, and most likely not going to win. And uh, we all want to win here, so the defense is our main focus. Hey, Mitch, I think today Coach said that your attitude was like a 10 out of 12 out of 10, and that got me thinking. I think when he came to your house for your in-home, you guys were in the basement watching the Chiefs game, and I know you guys kind of have that relationship. What's 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 it like, you guys both on and off the court together? Me and Coach? Yeah. Um, it's, it's really cool. Um, I get to play for a coach that I'd always I mean, wanted to play for. And being here is not like I'm, I don't know what the word is, how to say it. Like, it's not like a, a chore to go to practice and stuff. It's like I get to go be coached by a Hall of Famer. I get to go play with these great players. And it's really an opportunity every time you step out there and it's some high value. You always had that kind of attitude that stands out and kind of being upbeat even through struggles? Yeah, I just think it's kind of how my parents raised me. Like, um, there's always a bright side to it. And you might not see it, but practice you getting better, and that's what it's for, and that's what we're doing. Do you feel like in terms of on the court, you kind of turned a corner of late, or something's clicked lately? Uh, just more confidence, um, uh, playing better defense, just doing what the team needs me to do. Uh, I might not show up in the stat book, but it gets a win, it'll get us a win, and I like that. The way the game's played today with all, so much predicated on ball screens, what's the toughest thing about defending for a big man? Ball screens are certainly something that's hard to, harder to defend, um, but I'd have to say, like when we're in, when we're, in, when we're running a two-three, rebounding out of a two-three is something you really got to really, really got to work on because uh, you don't really have a man to box out. You kind of just got a couple. There's a couple of Offensive players running in there to get rebounds. They got pick and choose who you're going to box out. Know the tendencies. Know know who's going to crash. Know who's not. Know who's a better rebounder. Know who's not. So it just makes everything go back to your scout and realize and realizing how important it is to listen to coaches when they're going through scout and what each player does and their tendencies. Got time for a couple more. Coach. When you think about your road success, coaches talk a lot about you guys being tighter on the road and, and, and more together. I guess. It, Think that there's any way that starting in Italy has anything to do with that? I mean, that, that's kind of where this team became a team at, at first, anyway. And I know those environments weren't the same, but you think there's anything to that? I mean, I wouldn't say like, oh, for sure, like Italy is where it started, but I mean, it definitely might have had something to do with it. Um, that was the ultimate road game. We're thousands of miles away from home, so I feel like we've been pretty good on the road, just from the fact that we're tight into the huddle and knowing that knowing that it's just us out there. But uh, we, we need to bring that intensity back home and uh, play with that energy here and really don't let there be any change. Is, is there a comfort that's different? Do you feel, do you, do you think this team feels more comfortable on the road? I mean, um, Malik sort of just said you guys like playing on the yeah, road. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say we, do, we do like playing on the road because it's more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we just got to have that, we got to have that home and that's on us. Yeah. Um, we, got, we got to bring that energy and we got to give, we got to give, fans that they deserve at home. We've got two questions on Silvio. He told us that he specifically mentioned you as somebody mentoring and pulling him aside, coaching him up. Why is that important to you, given that his success might mean, a, you know, on the surface, maybe less minutes for you? And the second part is, uh, you know, Coach said today that he's shown flashes of being terrific in practice. Uh, have you seen those flashes, and are you guys kind of just salivating a bit to see that actually in the game? Okay, for the first question, um, because when Kansas is better, I'm happier. Because no. Silvio can, if Silvio can bring us good minutes and do what we need to do, then that's good and they'll help us win. And if we're all winning. I think we all agree that we're all happier. But uh, and when it comes to like seeing flashes of him being really good, yeah, like he's he's good. He just just gonna it'll come to him. It'll click. Um, I remember first getting here, I thought everything was three times speed. Like I was like, whoa, what the heck is going on? But It'll get. It'll come to him. He's he's getting so much better each day in practice, and he's, he he wants to get better. So it'll happen. All right. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks. Thanks.